Cooper and High Point. I'm also a doctorate of physical therapy student at High Point University, and I'm gonna to talk to you today a little bit about shin splints. As with any injury, it's important to consult with your doctor and know that this video is not meant to be any sort of um, medical diagnosis. So at this point, you might be asking yourself, what are shin splints? The more technical name is medial tibial stress syndrome, and it affects this bone right here, your tibia. Now it's often caused with a lot of overuse or increase in your training, causing extra stress to this bone. This can cause small irritations in both the bone, the tendons, and the muscles along the front of your shin. The most common cause of this is from two things. One, rolling in or some tibial bending. The second is just a general increase in activity causing extra stressors through the bone, causing irritation. Just because you're a runner and you run a lot does not mean you are prone to getting shin splints. There's a lot of things we can do here to help prevent this injury. One of the biggest things you can do is get a pair of shoes that fit your body type and your foot right. Lucky for you, we do that here at Fleet Feet. We have a whole wall of shoes for different needs for different people. And the way we find that is through our scanning system. So what we have here is a foot scan and a dynamic scan. So the foot scan gives us a 3D image of your foot, giving us a bunch of information from sizing to arch height and instep height. We can also see where your ankles line up compared to your foot. And then we can go to the dynamic scan, which shows where you put the most pressure on your foot while you're walking. That's highlighted with the red here. Using this information, we can find a pair of shoes that will give you what you need to help prevent injury. Another thing we can do to help prevent shin splints is focus on our mileage. This comes from not only the mileage in our shoes, but the mileage we run every week. The rule of thumb for shoes is 300 to 500 miles until you need to get a new pair. Just This just ensures that the foam is giving you that response and taking that load as it should. As far as increasing your mileage, if you're new to running or just getting back into it after a prolonged break, it's important not to increase more than 10% of your weekly mileage every week. And within that, it's important to use these tools to recover properly and be ready for your next run. If you do end up with shin splints, there's a few things you can do to help reduce some pain. The first thing you can do is invest in something like a compression sleeve. This is just gonna bring extra blood flow to the area and promote healing along the shin and in those muscles where there might be aggravation. Another thing you can do is put a Dixie cup like this filled with water in the freezer overnight. The next morning or whenever you finish activity, you can peel back the paper so it's just the ice and rub it along the shin, run out on, along the bone, and this will again increase blood flow to the area and promote healing. One last thing you can do to loosen up the muscles around the lower shin is use this, a foam roller. I'll demonstrate how to use it. You just get on the ground like this and rub it along the muscles, putting as much weight as you can tolerate through that muscle. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found something helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and we'll get back to you with answers. If you liked this video, subscribe and let us know so we can give you more content.